Hello friends and welcome back to another video. I hope you're doing so well. Today I wanted to share with you some various things that I've picked up recently. Kind of a vintage inspired haul. We recently did a long drive up country to go and see family. And on the way back, we decided to stop overnight somewhere just because it's already a long drive. But then this was the first long drive that we had done with Ivy in the car and if you have a baby, you will know that a normal long journey is made even longer <laughs> when you have a baby as well. And so we decided to just be kind to ourselves and book to stay somewhere overnight and break up the journey. We ended up staying in a town called Burnham-on-Sea, which I had never heard of before. We literally stopped there because it was the cheapest travel lodge that we could find at around that point in our journey. It has kind of become a custom for me and Johnny to go and look at the charity shops if we ever visit a new town. It's kind of our thing that we always do. When I was there, I ended up picking up a few bits and then over the last couple of days, I have been in some charity shops and I've been looking for a piece of furniture for this living room. I've been looking for a sideboard and I really want a very specific kind of thing and I just have not found it yet. But when I was there, I of course picked up some books. <laughs> so I thought I would just collect all these things that I have recently bought and show you. There's some decor and there's some books and I also have some clothes to show you. So go and grab yourself a cup of tea, get cozy and I hope you enjoy this video. So the first things that I want to show are actually some clothes and these clothes were sent to me by a brand called Simple Retro. What I love about Simple Retro is that you can inject some unique vintage style into your wardrobe without spending loads of money. And so I am so grateful to Simple Retro for sending me two dresses from their new spring summer clothing collection. I'll insert some clips of me wearing the dresses whilst I talk. The first dress that they gifted to me was the Juliet V-neck dress. And this, this is my favorite. This is my favorite dress now that I own. <laughs> I absolutely love it. I actually recently wore this to a birthday party and felt so good wearing it. The neckline is just the perfect V. It's not too low not too high it also has a little popper on it which as i am breastfeeding at the moment is absolutely perfect and made this dress so wearable um, i feel like if i'm wearing a dress out at the moment it has to have some kind of way of discreetly breastfeeding i just picture this dress as the perfect tea party afternoon tea in the garden kind of dress and i already know i'm gonna wear this load the second dress that they sent me is the annie dress it is this beautiful red color with white flowers this also has the beautiful lace neckline detailing and also these really pretty puffy frilly sleeves both of these dresses are the perfect length and just for reference i am a size six to eight in uk size and these are a size small and fit me perfectly. Simple Retro are a brand that I've loved for ages and admired from afar and I'm so grateful that they've sent me these dresses which I know will be staples in my wardrobe over this next season. So that's it for the vintage inspired things. The next things are all bits that I've picked up from charity shopping. I really like the idea of having a vintage gallery wall on my walls and I particularly love when people add tiny little frames to areas. I think it looks so cute and so I'm always on the lookout for frames generally when I'm out because I hate paying so much money for new frames that are often really flimsy anyway. Um, I feel like older stuff was just made better, you know? So I'm always on the lookout for frames and in one of the charity shops, I found this whole um, crate of old frames and specifically little ones. And so I decided to pick up a few to create a little gallery wall or maybe put them in different places. I'm not really sure yet where I'm gonna put them. So these are the frames. The first one I've already put a picture in because I was just so excited that this was the perfect size and I had been looking for a way to 
display this somehow and just had never found the right kind of frame for it. But that is this tiny little frame and I've put one of our ultrasound pictures of Ivy in there because I really wanted to display one of these pictures and it just needed such a specific kind of frame and it fit perfectly. Then I also have this little gold one which, oh and by the way this didn't have anything in it when I picked it up. This one is a little gold frame and it has somebody's holiday photo, I presume, of an elephant. <laughs> in this one, I'm thinking of putting a Polaroid picture in somehow. I think it will just about, it will just about fit in. Um, so I need to find the right Polaroid picture to go in there. Then we have this oval shaped frame. I really love frames that are not square or rectangle. And this has somebody's wedding photo in it. I don't know when this is from, but it looks really old and faded. And it kind of makes me sad to take it out, but it would also be really weird for me to have some random person's wedding photo on my wall. I feel like part of the joy of buying things secondhand is discovering somebody else's history and past, just like when people inscribe things in books. And so I'm not sure what I'm gonna put in this one. I had the thought of cutting out, I don't know how I feel about this, cutting out a page from a book, like a, a, a cheaper secondhand copy of a book and putting that in here, like a favorite page with a favorite quote. I think that would look cute. And then the final one that I picked up is this frame. And this also has a photo of someone. I feel like, again, I feel really sad to take this photo out because clearly this was somebody's photo shoot from the past, but it also seems really strange for me to have this photo up on my wall of a random person, I don't know. I might try and get a photo printed maybe. Um, I'm not sure. I'm currently not sure whether I should cluster these frames together. I'm either thinking up here around the big frame that I have on the wall and just kind of adding to it and making a gallery wall or over there where eventually I'm going to have a sideboard. I don't know whether to add the pictures around the wreath or above the TV where I currently have a picture of a tree. Maybe I should just cluster them in that corner. I really like it when people add photos into a corner of a room or whether to just scatter them individually in little places around the house. Let me know what you would do because um, I'm really not sure where to put them. And then of course, we have books. <laughs> I have a little stack of books that I have picked up. They are all vintage old books. I think all of them are from at least the 70s beyond. So they're at least 50 years old. At my baby shower, I asked people instead of buying a card to buy a book and put their message in the book um, specifically to get secondhand books and since then I've been just really enjoying creating a lovely secondhand vintage book collection for Ivy for when she's a little bit older and I found quite a big stack of books in a charity shop yesterday. Actually this one's not super old. I have a few books in this edition and that is the Wind in the Willows and it's the Ladybird children's edition and I just think they're so pretty. They're kind of a shortened version of the book I think. I've actually never read The Wind in the Willows and I know this is not the full version but I'm really excited one day to read these books with Ivy. I feel like I'm gonna get to discover all of these new classics um, and rediscover some favourites. And speaking of that, a favourite children's classic that I found was Anne of Green Gables in this um, Penguin edition. This was published 1966. I can't wait to be able to read Anne of Green Gables with Ivy one day. <laughs> then have some Enid Blyton books. They just hold so much special memories to them because my mum read read me a lot of Enid Blyton books when I was little. But I also found 
The Circus of Adventure. I love looking at the prices of these books as well. This was 20p and this was published 1955. And then the other one is Enid Blyton's Sixth Bedside Book. Um, there must be multiple bedside books, but this is the sixth one. This was a gift for someone a Christmas gift in 1956 and it has these illustrations in in black and white and then there's purple in all of them as well oh no not just purple they're all different colors it has little puzzles in it as well I also found this copy of the house at Pooh Corner this was a birthday present from someone's uncle in August 1949 I feel like this is the oldest one that I have here. Again, it's illustrated and it has little illustrations on the hardcover. I don't know if this maybe at some point had a dust jacket, but I also really like the look of these. So I have a shelf um, in her nursery where all the books go forwards. And I really want to get an actual wall shelf to put some books normally like with the spine showing because I have a few books like this where there's not really anything on the cover but the spines are really cool and I want to display those as well. And then the final book I got for Ivy is Peter Pan and Wendy and this is a Disney illustrated version. This also has a really cool design on the actual cover. This was a gift in 1955. So I'm presuming this is the full book, except it also has colored pictures. <laughs> Somebody's colored them in as well. Um, but it does have full color pictures from the Disney movie, which is so cool. And again, I really like the spine on this one. So those are all of the books that I got for Ivy. And then I got one book for myself. <laughs> so they had a big box of loads of the old penguin books and you could buy all of them for £10. Um, they had two baskets full and you get them all for £10. And I was, I almost did it just because I, I would love the way that they looked. But I then reminded myself that I'm not building a collection of books just for the sake of having books. I really want a collection of books that is full of favourites and books I would reread, books I would recommend and if I am going to buy vintage books it needs to either be something that I would read or that is a book I've read before and I love it and so it's nice to have a special edition of it and so I decided not to do that. I only picked up Anne of Green Gables and one other book which was the Day of the Triffids by John Wyndham. I've read this book before and I really, really enjoyed it. I, I'm not a massive sci-fi reader, but I, re I remember really enjoying The Day of the Triffids and finding it very creepy, but in a good way. So those are just some things that I've picked up recently that I wanted to show you. I hope you don't mind me doing some videos like this at the moment. I would love to do more longer vlog style creative videos as well, but the time it takes to plan them and record them at the moment is honestly just a lot. And I'm trying to take it easy and be realistic about the content that I can get out. And so I'm hoping to get at least one longer more creative vlog style video out a month but then in the other weeks i hope you'll bear with me if i'm just showing you a little bit of my life or showing you random books i pick up or that sort of thing thank you again to simple retro for sending me those beautiful dresses definitely check out their website i'll link it in the description box so you can have a peruse of their beautiful clothing. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day wherever you are in this world and I'll see you very soon with another video.